the Hollywood crap is coming whether we want it or not. It's coming. Oh yeah, it's coming. Clink, 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 clink. Hollywood crap is a saying that I like to say when Hollywood makes crap just for the sake of making crap. Nobody's asking for it. Nobody wants it. But you make the crap just because you're Hollywood and you got the money and you can. Number one, point break. Nobody, and I mean nobody, was thinking about making a point break remake. Like, when it came out, it symbolized a lot of that time. Keanu Reeves, and then you have then you have Patrick Swayze, you know, who's who's at the height of his powers at the time. You know, Patrick Swayze was the man at the time. Point break was for that time. Why are you making it again? Nobody is asking Hollywood for another point break. I'm not trying to say Point Break was some sacred movie. Because I don't. Is there any more intelligent ideas in Hollywood? There's some original ideas. Some of those original ideas, they're not working out so well. I'm just saying. That doesn't mean that you should take an old idea and make it a new idea and think that it's a good idea. The Crow. They already destroyed The Crow's name with the sequels, but to remake the movie is almost blasphemous. It is not cool. Don't touch the crow. If we can somehow stop this movie from getting greenlit, let's figure out how to do it. I don't know. Hashtag stop the crow. You can't really get mad at them remaking Scarface, but damn it, I'm mad anyway. Okay, this one's a little tricky because this is a remake of a remake. Now, Scarface was a movie starred by Paul Mooney in 1932, so this is the remake of that movie. Everybody in the hood got a Scarface movie, and hell, not just everybody in the hood, everybody got Scarface. Those iconic lines, okay, I was in my balls, and I don't break them for nobody. I was a little too young to watch Scarface when I did watch Scarface, but hell, I watched it, so hell. Oh. Who was going to play Tony Montana? Name an actor that's going to play Tony Montana. If you can tell me the best actor to play Tony Montana, I doubt that you can name anybody other than Al Pacino who can handle that role. It's Hollywood crap. Jumanji is an awesome movie. It is a little bit of nostalgia on my part because I grew up watching this movie and I thought this movie was amazing. Visually, at the time, it was, it was, it was doing things that had never been done before, man. It was amazing. I remember, you know, it was one of those first movies to really start using animatronics in a, in a brand new way. Robin Williams, you know, Jumanji is definitely one of those movies that jumps out with his name. I, I don't think it needs to be done. Just don't do it. Big Trouble Little China. An action comedy adventure that wasn't even supposed to be that good. Like, it, Big Trouble Little China, I don't think people thought it was gonna be that good. When something like that happens, that's magic. That means that's movie magic. When something is not expected to be that good and it just changes everybody's expectations, you're not gonna be able to recreate that magic. You're not gonna be able to do that again, you know? A lot of people don't like Avengers 2, but you have to understand, it wasn't gonna be that awesome because you can't recreate that magic with Avengers 1. Why can't you just come up with a movie about people that you're shooting and everybody's running and then you got some dude with muscles and he shoots everybody down. Just make one, just make it and then call it something else. I like The Rock, but I don't like this idea. Goonies changed my life. <laughs> this has been rumored to be getting a remake. I don't know if it's actually gonna happen, but I pray 
that it does not get a remake. This is sacred. What is? Is what made me love movies. I don't know not one person who loves movies who can tell you that they don't like the Goonies. Uh, directors, actors alike. This is the adventure movie. I mean, you could debate Never Ending Story, you get a, you know, there's a few other places, but the Goonies, it's the Goonies, man. I would like to say that whatever we need to do as fans of true movie making and the movie making process, we need to do it. Hollywood crap, actually do that. No more Hollywood crap. I'm gonna pound, uh, no more Hollywood crap. I say pound instead of hashtag just because I like to age myself. It's fun. It's up to us. If we go to spend money on this Hollywood crap, they're gonna think that we like it. And that's the only thing they're gonna do. They're just gonna keep making it because they think we like this Hollywood crap. So we gotta stop and fight the crap of Hollywood. Silly Phil Show every Tuesday nights at 10, Spreaker.com, S-I-L-L-I-P-H-Y-L. Love you guys. Let's stop this Hollywood crap, guys. Love y'all.